Yeah. What's up, everyone? It's the Indie Rundown Podcast. Another indie review here for We Know You Are Home, a 2018 short horror film written and directed by Andrew J.D. Robinson. And uh, again, it's it, I'm Mike. That's Zach over there. I liked it. I, I, I like this short horror film. Uh, and, and FYI to anyone else out there, if you want us to check out your short horror film, if you want us to check out any short film or project, go ahead and send us an, an email at the Indie Rundown at gmail.com and we'll take a look at it you know that we we're fortunate enough to have andrew reach out to us and uh lo and behold we're here reviewing his very well made short horror film we know you are home and we're going to go ahead and start off with just a little bit of a setup and then maybe have some a little bit of spoilers at the end this is obviously on youtube it's already <laughs> it's out there so it's from 15 Second Horror Film Challenge. Go ahead and subscribe to them on YouTube, too, if, if you haven't already. Or if you have, you probably already know what the heck we're talking about. But again, we know you're a home. It opens up already uh, w- with a, a written description. It says that Forgotten Room. It defines what a forgotten room is. Forgotten Room, where unwanted kids were abandoned and left to die of neglect <laughs> or starvation. So already right off the bat, we know this, this is going to be some heavy shit. Uh, or some tragic loss that we're going to be dealing with. And we follow a, a uh, house sitter, a student. Uh, I'm, 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 I, know, I don't know how old she is. It says in the description that she's a low 20 something Alice. You know, she's on a house sitting gig essentially. And um, really kind of cool how the, the, the shot at the beginning sets up, you know, she gets a phone call. Uh, it's a, uh, it's 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 a lady that wants her to house sit, and then all of a sudden the, the old LP music starts playing, kind of signaling to the audience. You know, <laughs> anytime you're in a horror movie and you, and you hear that old record music, you just you just know <laughs> it ain't it ain't a good thing. Very cool setup, very mm-hmm. um, very creepy, very scary scary parts of this movie. She gets to the house, and again, the the, the two rules that the house sitter. The homeowner leaves her is no friends and keep to the main floor. Obviously, you know, if, if, if someone told me those things and, uh, um, you know, trying to go house sit for someone, I'm, I ain't going to take it, man. Mm-hmm. Or or if I go there, I'm going to definitely you bet your ass I'm not going to be on the main floor. I'm going to search the whole damn place. <laughs> I want to see what's exactly. going on. Exactly. It's like you're just asking for it at that point. Yep. Um, but lo and behold, oh, and, 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 and the movie opens up with newspaper clippings of all these missing kids. So it kind of already sets up um, uh, that that people were on a curfew on Halloween because of these uh, either kidnappings or or children gone missing. And years later, apparently, um, I'm unaware if, the, if it was universal in, in, in the town that there was no more hollow, no more trick or treating. But it. Um, she gets to the house. Obviously, there's there's trick or treating can there's a, there's candies for trick or treaters there, and the trick or treaters that show up. But it's three kids in covered in white drapes, and when she asks, "Well, who are you supposed to be?" You just hear like a ruffling of papers, and then you see the expression on the actress uh, Julie Landrielt. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your last name, but her f- expression on her face says, "Oh, she did a really good job on this." By the way, shout out to her. Her expression, it just kind of gets a little bit creeped out. And then you see the kids, they're holding up missing the 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 flyers, the missing kids that we saw from the beginning. So we're like, holy shit, like really creepy setup. She goes back in the house, thinks it's a joke, et cetera. And then and she drops off. She just puts the, 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 the candies outside. And then we have the little setup where we start hearing the scratching noises. And then we hear like the, on the sliding door, little little scratchy noises or something rubbing up against it excellent scene where she's going up there and she pulls away the curtain and then i don't know if it's blood or if it was pain or whatever but the, someone writes backwards to it what talent they, they write uh, the title card we know you are home so automatically boom you know set up like that it's happening we're in for it and uh i liked it i enjoyed the rest of the film i thought it was i don't know if it was uh, thoughtful is the correct term but things were set up really nice Mm-hmm. And I like it wasn't it wasn't exactly how when you think we know you are home. I'm thinking of one type of horror film and 
it was probably a good thing, you know, that when I watched it, it ended up being something else, but still, it, it was still scary. I still enjoyed it. It was still entertaining. But uh, anyway, those were my thoughts, man. A little setup. Uh, what did you think? I enjoyed it, and this is a movie that I watched a couple of times, actually. Uh, the first time I watched it, I was uh, I was a little um, taken aback. It kind of took me a, a multiple viewings to really get the right feel that I wanted from it because, hey, I, I'm a big supernatural horror fan, so this was like right up my alley. But no, I enjoyed it, man. It, it had a had a creepy vibe that, to me, others might not see this comparison, but it kind of blended like Halloween and paranormal activity for me. It had my uh, my interest was peaked, you know, the whole time as to what was going to happen. So, I think Andrew did a really great job of engaging me as an audience member, and I kind of kind of was on that train with Alice, like, what the hell's going on, man? Cinematography. Here's some pros about this movie. Uh, things I like, man. The cinematography was solid. Lighting was great. Uh, sound design, musical score was effective. I really think it had a strong, creepy presence. Was you know a little bit of haunting undertones. It was great. You know, something that I think is very important in supernatural films. Um, but uh, if you can get me hooked like that, you're doing a good job. And I like the inclusion of the Night of the Living Dead stuff. That was that was pretty funny. But um, it was nicely paced. Uh, I didn't think it drug, drug at all. I never once looked away, looked at how much time was left. I felt it flowed very well. Jump scares were nice. They didn't overdo it. I've seen them heavily overdone before. Uh, they had a perfect amount. They were effective and... Shout out to Julie again. I'm like you. Might mispronounce her name here, but Land Landrialt. I thought she was great, man. Really good facial expressions. I really she really sold the fear, you know, and the uh, unsettling emotions that her character was dealing with. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed it, man. Um, props to Andrew Robinson, dude. I really recommend this to any horror fan out there. If I was gonna rate this, I'd give it a seven point five out of a ten. But yeah, good movie, man. I enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah, I enjoyed it too, and I, and I liked uh, again. Spoiler alert at the end. How uh, we we realized that it was the 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 homeowner's deceased sister that called yeah. that called her at, and and told her to house it. Or I guess that was a, that was a means of drawing the, the the brother there to open the the forgotten room down there with the key. Uh, yeah, see, I was and, a little confused the first time I saw it, but I had to go watch it a couple times. It's very nice the explanation. I love how the neighbor calls him. Uh, the, the, the for sale sign, you know, was tossed in his backyard in the neighbor's backyard. So that's why when, um, Julie or I should say Alice came to the house, it was, it didn't look like it was up for sale. It looked like someone lived there, etc. But, mm. um, another, what was, what was the thing I was going to say is, um, uh, oh, one of the, one of the lines I really liked was when the old man at the end was explaining how, he couldn't open that forgotten room and how every time he called a, a locksmith to come get it fixed, they could never make it, whether it was something came up or something bad happened to them. So then you kind of thinking, damn, like this was, uh, yeah, it, it really kind of sets it's, it's, it's stuff that details that marinate with you. And you're just like, Whoa, like it, it's, it's tragic. It's creepy. It's scary. It's very, it's very well done. Mm -hmm. And he packed so much into this Andrew Robinson, even someone in the comments mentioned it too. Uh, so much into a short film, and it didn't feel like exposition. So uh, props, yeah. definitely yeah. props to props to Andrew. Enjoyed this very much, and hopefully you, know, you go ahead and subscribe to his channel, Fifteen Second Horror Film Challenge. There's other films he has up there, but I like them. I like his yeah. stuff. Yeah, and one more thing too is like I was really impressed with how, if you really think about it, the entire film she really didn't say much the entire movie, so she really sold. A lot of it was just through emotional acting, dude, and I thought that was pretty cool. You know, it's kind of it kind of goes with what you said about not really much exposition and explaining what's going on. It's just all through her face and stuff. So, yeah, well, man. it's it's called good writing. You show, you don't tell. So yeah, exactly. A yeah. lot of people don't uh, don't follow that, but anyway, you got anything else to add to this? No, that's it. Uh, just I, I give it a high recommend. Like I said, go go check it out, people. Good job. Good job, Andrew Robinson. Again, uh, 2018 short horror film. We know you are home. Check it out. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.